we have a new pet in the house other than Smokey and Bandit. Two wasps. We don't even know when they get in here. Hi guys, I'm Sanggyang Longast. Welcome to Asia at home. The weather is getting a little chilly. And when it's like this, what we all want is soup. I don't know about you, but I want some soup, okay? I love eating my soup during this time, where my cozy socks that I got from Costco, where my cozy uh, sweater that I got from Costco, $9.99, and eat some soup. That's all I want to do, and watch some Netflix. <laughs> so anyway, to complete that, I need to make my soup first because I got my um, Costco haul already for my socks and sweaters. So all I need is soup, and today I'm going to show you how to make Tom Ka. So Tom Ka is a Thai soup. That Tom is a soup and the Ka is the, the Galangar, the Kai, the root vegetable or aromatic vegetables. And I'm going to make Tom Ka Kai today. The Kai is the chicken. So yeah, it's a coconut chicken soup. So let's get started. First, we need to prepare all our aromatic vegetables. So you will need one large or two small lemongrass cut into two inch pieces and prepare galangal is a, a lot of people say this is like a Thai ginger but that's not true galangal is galangal it just look like a steroid ginger <laughs> I mean that's pretty much it but when you smell it the smell is completely different and the taste is completely different than the ginger and I understand it's a little hard to find but without galangal it's not tonka okay so you have to find the galangal first so drive five hours to H Mart or some of your Asian grocery store a lot of people peel the galangal, but I don't think it's necessary. It's like I never peel my ginger. I really believe there's a lot of nutrition on the skin as well. So I don't peel the galangal, but if you want to, you can go ahead and do that. But when you're handling galangal, please, please, please be careful because they're really woody and hearty texture. So it's really easy to cut yourself. So please pay attention when you're handling this vegetable. You will also need one to three Thai chilies to your taste. And we will need two large or four small shallots. Just go ahead and dice them. You will also need two to three lime leaves. Cut one large tomatoes into six to eight wedges. Prepare five ounces of mushrooms. Your favorite mushrooms. Today I have a shimeji mushrooms, so this is what I'm gonna use. Uh, you can use a buttonbell mushrooms, king oyster mushroom, oyster mushroom. I think a shiitake mushroom might be a little too strong, but um, if that's all you have, you can use it. But um, that won't be my choice. Lastly, slice one chicken breast into bite sizes. So the chicken breast I'm using is uh, nine, about nine, 10 oz. So into a wok or medium-sized pot. Pour two cups of chicken stock. Then add lemongrass, galangal, and shallot. Turn on the heat to medium heat. And we are going to simmer them to get their beautiful fragrance into the soup first. Then go ahead and add two teaspoons of palm sugar, two tablespoons of fish sauce, one can of coconut milk. It's about one and two third cups of coconut milk, tomatoes, mushrooms, the chicken, and the lime leaves. Make sure you tear them down before you add. Thai chili, gently stir and mix everything together. And we are going to cook them low and slow, very gently over medium heat until the chicken is fully cooked, the tomato is nice and soft, and mushroom is cooked. If the tomato peels just came off from the tomato, don't be shy and just take them out because nobody wanna chew that, okay? I, I like to just take, him, take them out, that's what I do. Meanwhile, the soup is cooking. I'm going to chop some green onions and cilantro. Stir in the cilantro and the green onions into soup. 
when the chicken is fully cooked and soup is almost done, we are going to go ahead and add lime juice. So depending on your taste, add a quarter cup to one third cup of lime juice. Depending on my mood, I add like one third cup when I want like a really little kick and sour. When I just want to taste more, a little more creamier and like, you know, more mild soup, I just add one quarter cup. So depending on your taste, well then add a quarter cup first and taste it and add more as you go. Turn up the heat and we are done. To your taste, you can add some chili oil, my famous chili oil. Go ahead and make it. Every time you guys make it, you guys tell me that this is the best chili oil ever. So if you haven't made it yet, don't miss out. Make one because it's going to blow your mind. Serve this tom kha just as a soup. You can just enjoy it as a soup. But if you want to add some starch, maybe serve it with some nicely warm cooked jasmine rice like the perfect jasmine rice that Jacob cooks every time I prefer Jacob's rice than my, my rice so I always ask him to make some rice um, or actually just cooked rice noodles add into it ah tom kha kai noodle soup mm, delicious. if you liked my tom kha kai recipe please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more inspirations and idea of Asian home cooking. I'm sorry that we don't have a mukbang scene of Tom Kha Kai. Uh, we've been really busy. This is a holiday season and families coming over and like we've been a little nuts. Okay, so please understand. I'm pretty sure you will understand us as well because you're probably as busy as me. Um, and yeah, uh, where I was. Thank you so much for watching and uh, Remember, you can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. I'm Sang Kyung Long Gas, and this is Asian at Home, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys! Oh, and if you want to see Tom Yang Kung recipe, just let me know. Because I, I think Tom Yang Kung is actually my one of my absolute favorite soups. I have ingredients in my refrigerator.